Um, thing is, I don't really know this guy either. So, um, I think you're building. I think the the build isn't just get attack modifiers anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, well, he you play him in the offlane, right? Right. Um, I think in the offlane he's more of a. He's not like a a weaver offlane where you try and carry with him. Um, I think he's more about his ult than he is anything. Um, instead of his Q, and that's uh, this is from one of my games. He went uh, arcane boots just helps you farm a lot more. I guess you got a javelin to farm with. Um. And then you went Shiva's right after, probably because there are a lot of physical damage. Um, but yeah, I think he's more of a utility now um, with his ult, because you can like perma stun people with that shit. It's fucking retarded. Um, let me see if there's another one. Yeah, clocks OP. Yeah, it looks like they just get mana regen, and then they try and farm with it. Um, because with your, <clears throat> I think it's your Q and your W, um, you can clear out like hella waves with them, um, and you can just like jungle like a beast with it, so, um, mana regen, he's like a storm spirit where mana regen translates directly into farm speed, um, but yeah, we can, we can watch it, I just don't know the build exactly, so I'm gonna like, not comment on that. I don't want to, I don't want you to be like, oh, well, my coach said this when I have, like, no fucking clue either. People probably got better at ping, uh, playing against Pangolier, and Pangolier also got nerfed, so it's probably a mix of those two. Where like if you when they first came out, you'd probably be fine going the build that you went. What? Ah, uh, yeah. I thought you meant you shift your uh you Q command or whatever. Oh, but yeah, you did it. You're probably gonna win the game now. I don't know. Did you guys win or did you lose? Feels bad. It's definitely not because of the quick buy though. Kappa. Yeah. Not too much to say about that. Lol. You killed your lion. I would have definitely, uh, you're gonna need a regen, um, and you knew that you needed it, like, 30 seconds ago, so if you, if you think you're fine with not bringing out the courier immediately, you should at least get some regen and put it on the courier, so when the terror blade takes the courier, you can send it to you right after, instead of it having to go back, and then all the way back out. Also, I like how you have one last hit. There you go, you just doubled your last hits. Wouldn't it be nice to have a stout shield right now? A little. It's 
So yeah, if you if you sent the courier out or you put the salve on the courier, all of this time running back to base wouldn't have happened. And running back to the base at three minutes in the game is a huge fucking deal. Also, I don't know why you bought another TP. You didn't get spun upon. Yeah, I think outside of the laning phase, I'm just gonna drop this replay because you, you, you're you not supposed to play this guy as a carry, so... I'm just gonna like, uh, pretend like this is the off lane and this is like an actual replay. Um, instead of a Pangolier carry. Yeah, the main thing that's happening in this lane is you're not you don't have enough region and you're not like when you figure out that you need more region you're not reacting at all you're just kind of like well that sucks I think your Q proxy spins. Yeah, I would have at this point, I would have just went to the creeps because you can't save anyone and you can't kill anyone. So there's no point of you being here. Like what you did before was kind of fine because you didn't know that you weren't going to have enough damage or anything like that. But at that second that I paused it, you... um. You knew there was no potential for anything happening, and you still stayed. You shouldn't be going for runes like this when you're the carry. You're gonna give up like an entire creep wave. 
Yeah. This is just kind of like you're forcing something um, when all you should be doing is getting farm. But uh, do you have any questions on this before I like try and find another replay? Because I think the, res the rest of it's just going to be you're a carry pingleer. Um, where's a, was there another one that came to mind? This one? Um, they just outscale you. So the, the thing with this is you want to... The Enigma's build is wrong. You guys should have went, like, mech blink or some shit. Um, and you guys should have tried to end the game at 20 to 30 minutes. Um, because this guy falls off really hard. Wisp is just gonna be food to the Storm Spirit. Um, you don't have the adequate lockdown for the Storm Spirit, except for this guy's stun, which is, like, uh, weird, because he has to ult to stun. And then the Medusa, the Storm, like, they all get fucking huge from Drowora. Like, all of them work really well with Drowora. Um, this guy's just gonna, like, delete you um, if you're the only one that matters. These two are going to get huge. So it's just the game um, game went too late. See here, um, right here, this is probably when you lost the game. You, you guys should have ended 20 to 30 minutes, and then you didn't, and then they kind of came back some... And even though you guys are always ahead, they use the experience in gold better. Um, just because, like, Wisp doesn't really scale too well. Dragonite doesn't scale, like, at all. Enigma's, like, great, but this guy can cancel it, this guy can cancel it, this guy can cancel it. This guy's, like, the, the best counter in the game to him. So, he's already dealt with. Um... Yeah. Um, so that's that looks like it's the problem for um, this game. Um, I don't like you going for the second null. Um, it, it just doesn't really do much. Um, like you're gonna have you got it at you got it at four fourish, and then you get rid of it at. You have it for 12 minutes, um, and you you probably got it for last hitting, right? Why not just get a uh, Robe of the Magi instead? Yeah, it gives the about the same damage for 15 less gold, and then it actually builds into something. And did you... Um, you probably got your money's worth back on that null, but like, um, because you had it for like 12 minutes and it'd only take like, uh, three or four last hits to pay for itself. Um, but, like, if you just went treads, um, 
you would have ended up having more damage with the gold because the the sage's mask turns into a treads which gives you 10 damage whereas a null talisman doesn't turn into anything so it's it's six and then ten whereas this is just seven um so you'd get your treads uh 450 gold sooner if you want the the robe of the magi instead of the null talisman which is about a minute or two um sooner you get your treads um does that make sense do you agree with that it's um I actually like the blink. Um, uh, I didn't. The blink's really good because it's you can save people from this guy's, um, and that means that you can be catch and set up. Um, this guy going might just like also helped you lose the game, but and then <laughs> yeah, this guy's a goon. Um, but yeah, so that's that's this game I think. And then again. Um. I'm thinking you would have liked a Shiva's, but I don't know what you want to get it. I think instead of maybe the sheep, because you have enough lockdown with this guy. Silencer ult should help too. Um, unless like one of them got fucking huge. The I would have liked the Shivas instead of the sheep, maybe. Unless one of them got huge, which the LC might have got huge. But you already deal with her between having Lincolns and your... If they if she duels you, I guess she could bloodthorn you. Um Well the Shivas all of their damage is physical. Um with all of these guys. And then these guys don't do any damage later game. Like they do they do magic, but like Pudge can do some, but pure you can't do anything about. Um, and then this guy's magic damage is negligible. So, a Shiva's would have made you hella tanky, and clear out this guy's illusions really easily. Or not really easily, but a lot better. Um, it depends on how the game actually goes, but it's... When I look at this lineup, it's like, that's a fuck ton of physical damage. And you deal with that with a Shiva's as an OD. Uh, do you want to go into this replay? Also with this game, um, eh, they kind of outscale you, but not really, it's, it's weird. The AM getting 6 slotted, um, AM's a shit carry after he's 6 slotted. Um, Yeah, AM gets six slotted at like 40, 45 minutes or whatever, and then after that he sucks. Um, so he's really good from 30 to 40 minutes, but after that he drops off hard, and before that he's not even a hero. Uh, 
And uh, you should be going a fairy fire instead of a second branch. It's, uh, if you plan on turning it into a, I guess you don't have the gold for that anymore. Um, you, the strat used to be, if you're planning on turning it into a wand, you want to get three branches. Um, but, yeah. Um. Also sucks that you didn't get any pulled tangos, but... Yeah. You're doing your imprisons correct in theory, but not in practice. Um, you, you're doing it at the right times. The macro is correct, but the micro isn't. Um, so... Here the creeps get low and you go up to imprison them, which is perfect, but you right click him so the creeps run at you. And when he runs far enough back, you chase him. Like right now, you should have you should have turned when you were like right here when you knew he was like running away. Cause that just makes you miss last hits and shit. And you got hit by the tower. Yeah, it's because you're going too far. You want to... Because if you run at him and he runs away, that's the same as him being imprisoned. Because he can't get last hits, which is the objective. And you're going at it like you want to do the damage from it or some shit. Does that make sense? I mean, if you, if he doesn't get shit for the first, like, three minutes, which, um, you'd be able to do a lot better if you weren't taking all the extra damage. And, uh, the, the right-clicking him is just strictly a mistake, um, because you, you aggro the creeps onto you while you're running at him. Um, so that's, that's just, like, um, wrong. And then the other part of it, uh, the theory part of, um damaging him it's kind of like why do you damage a hero in the first place well it's to it's to kill him or push him out of the lane or get him low enough uh, get him low enough that it pushes them out of the lane or they die is essentially why you harass people and the reason that you want to do that is because it puts you ahead of them but does, um, I would have salved there and went aggressive, the bounty's coming. Um, I would have ran, like, up there. Um, but what I was saying was, uh, shit. Um, I forgot exactly where I left off. But, uh, zoning him out is as good as killing him, essentially. It accomplishes the same thing of you getting ahead of him. So it's... And it's only 75 damage every time you... after magic resistance. So it's not too much. See, this is, you right-click him and the creep wave, like, goes nuts. 
So you don't want to right click him until you're in range. So like click behind him or some shit. And it's not mattering too much because you're an OD and you have like 7 armor. Probably just you're frustrated from missing your imprisons. Like that's that's what would that's what happened to me whenever I um, used to play OD and play like this, where I think just getting imprisons or I lose the lane. Um, but with this gank right here, you want to run this way um, because then you put these creeps in the way of the hook. Um, but you run. Like, if you ran this way, these guys would have blocked this hook for you. Unless you're just a master and you plan that all along. Ah, uh, you should have imprisoned yourself. Um, it's just, the range on this is so tiny that with the cast animation, it's a lot safer. You might have been able to with the max range one. But it's just kind of like... Yeah. Um, and I was hoping that there'd be a point where it'd be like, Hey, don't you wish you had tre uh, treads here? Um, but you got like a thousand gold from those, or how whatever much. However much. Um, yeah. A 10k would get the last hits against a DD Shadow Fiend. Cool. And, um... Do you know the how this works? It basically... Yeah, it's... The, the, the thing is, uh, you can spam any spell that is less than 10%. Um of your mana pool. So when you have it maxed though, um, so if you have this maxed and you have a thousand mana, you can spam this. But if you have like 950, you can't. Because this ends up, um, it's a 25% chance to restore 40%. So that like, um, if you average it out, it's 10% of your mana back per cast. Um, so with, only three points in it that's probably like eight percent um but you want to max this first because it like you can spam this if you have it maxed and you can spam this um if you if you use this off cooldown you'll probably be fine if you're using this also all the time but if you don't have it maxed then you can run into mana problems like you're playing very conservative with your mana right now when you don't have to like, you can be last hitting with your Q, especially if you have your uh, E maxed. Um, well, if you... This gives you an extra 75 mana. Um, and it's... The, the null gives you, like, 100 mana, so you'd still be fine. But yeah, the only reason that you win this lane is because they threw it. The the main the reason that you were losing it before was you're overcommitting to your W.
And you're playing very scared right now, but you don't have to be. Like, you just have to, like, conceptualize that this isn't a point-and-click spell. If you position the creeps right, he's never gonna hit you with it. So, like, you can be standing right here in the creep wave, and you'll be fine until this guy, like, runs into rot range. And even then, you can just, like, imprison him. Well, you flew out your fucking ring of health, lol. I hope you die because you don't have that. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's the same reason that I like watching losses. It's because you like... If there's a... If the, the mistake shows up in the replay, you're more likely to learn from it than... If I just, like, tell you. Budge hook should work on couriers. I think he got his demon edge for his... Yeah. Here, you should be, like, imprisoning them and fucking with them and stuff. You see, like, I don't think you see the LC, but... Like, you're super strong and you're just letting their position 4 get farm out of mid lane. The Pudge is gonna be stronger than he should be, and he's gonna get kills that he shouldn't, and then your team's gonna be weaker than they should be. Snowballing thing. See, if you didn't let the Pudge get experience here, your Sand King wouldn't have died, Kappa. Yeah. Also, there's no reason for you to be scared there. I guess the shit. I guess you got an invis rune. So you you 10k plays. You just knew that the shadow fiend got an invis rune. You actually would have died if you stayed. I think. Or is it a shadow blade? Oh. I was like, why the fuck do you have it that early? He went straight for it. What a player. Lol. Nice wand. Wait. Well, I mean, if you, if you wanded, you would have got the tower and lived. I mean, you can. You just fucking press a wand. <laughs> that's just an experience thing. I think that's like, you were shocked that the Shadow Fiend popped up. And... Um, like a getting flustered type thing. Well, it wasn't... It's not that you should have expected him. It's that... you. It's an experience thing to know that immediately when he pops up, how to react. So it's not like you did it wrong. It's just play more games and you'll be able to react quicker because you're, you've experienced things enough. Um... And then another part of it is realizing that getting flustered doesn't actually help you. Um, and there's only like so much that you can do. You have like two abilities that you use in a fight. And then you have your, your four staff. So it's like trying to like put in more like effort doesn't really do anything. If that makes sense. Also, at this point, you have a lot more mana than you need to spam out your spells. So if you're taking fights, 
unless you're like super far ahead in the fight and there's no way that they attack you. You want to be on strength reds. Yeah, but it doesn't do... Like right now, if you're on strength reds, you have like 13% more health or some shit. And int treads doesn't make you do 13% more damage. Like staying alive longer will end up giving you more int than the int treads. And the way you stay alive longer is you have strength. It's 200. Yeah. Gotcha. Something like that, yeah. It's good. The fusel blade's a strong item, especially on a hero that has infinite intelligence or mana. I mean, I think it does like point six or point eight damage of the mana burn. I don't remember which. Should have ulted. There you go. Okay, you were just waiting for it. They stayed grouped for you, which was nice of them. Ultra kill with a player. Let's see if you get anything off of it. Easy team noob. I would be tanking this instead of... Yeah, there you go. Because your, your creeps were like two hits from dead each, so if you didn't tank it, you wouldn't be able to get the tower. I don't really like that you guys are staying here. I would have went for Roche here. I would have tried to get wards up and went for Roche. And you've, have your, you've had your Lincolns for a while. What you should be doing is putting all this shit on the courier at like... 1600 gold and then sending the courier to the secret shop so you could have had your lincolns like a minute ago yeah that's just like why i got into the habit of um putting my shit on the courier even if i don't intend on flying it out right then because like a perseverance would have been nice right now over a um like, Null Talisman or some shit. No. <laughs> I mean, aside from the things that I pointed out, you're playing good. Playing well, I think. Why is it called a good game instead of a well game then? Good is it? Good is a moral judgment, though, right? Or, I don't know, it's weird. Here, there's nothing stopping you from going on the pudge. I would have imprisoned. I would have forced Affin imprisoned. You're playing very scared when you know that the PL and the Shadow Fiend aren't there. 
um, and it's just a pudge. So at the most, there's like a LC there, but so what? You have LC, or you have Lincolns. Unless he has like Orchid already, which he doesn't. Look, watch out, dude, he's gonna kill you here. See? Had alt just to break, there you go. Ah, uh, outplayed. Also, if you're really good, you would have imprisoned the AM's illusion there, so they would have stayed there and thought it was real. Or you would have just imprisoned yourself and blunked it out. See, at this point, nobody's, like, big enough that I feel like you need a, um, a sheep stick. Honored. And sheep doesn't help at all, because it's either you get dueled or you don't, and if you don't get dueled, you imprison, or imprison, um, the target, so it's, like, What's your sheep going to do? You have the Sand King, though. Oh, I noticed. He just threw the Meteor Hammer out. But yeah, another main thing is you hold on to your gold way too long. Like, you're sitting on a null talisman when you had the gold for the Mystic Staff for, like, eight minutes. Or even the ultimate orb for, like, nine or whatever. And that's, that's the first time I've seen you this entire time use your Hurricane Pike to attack people. Well, you want to use it, the main reason that this is really good on OD, aside from the stats in the region, is that it means you get four attacks off on people. You've been using it, what? Yeah, I mean, you have track. Um, so if you just, like, use it on a track target, you're fine. Um, but it basically means you get 16 in, and that's the first time that I've seen you use it as a Hurricane Pike instead of a four staff. I might have missed it before, but... He would have been fine with just that meteor hammer. They didn't need your four stat or your sheep stick. Kappa. Yeah. But yeah, also the damage from, um, what's it called? Diffusal is physical, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, it's point eight. So he does, every attack drains 50 mana and burns. Burns 50 mana and does 40 damage extra with this. I think I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, but it's still... You don't have BKB right now. And your BKB isn't... You don't want to BKB every time the PL goes on you, right? Like, you want to be able to fight him without having to have your BKB up. Um, and Shiva makes you able to do that a lot better. And see now, you have 4,500 gold doing what? Yeah, you're getting your, uh, your interest. They should have that. That'd be fucking awesome. 
But then you'd have like an AM with like 10,000 gold. Just like sitting there. Dude, I'm waiting for my art or what is it? Uh, ROI. But yeah, 5,000 gold, and you you have a null talisman. It's going to be like 6,000 6, gold, and you have a null talisman in your... And then I don't... the They're not split pushing too much, so you don't really need the boots of travel yet. Well, it's, you guys are behind right now, right? You feel that, right? So you spent 2,500 gold on an item that doesn't do anything for your fight ability. I like how Pudge is just taking your fucking racks. See that how much fucking gold did you have there? You have seven thousand gold before you buy an item. Like I, we're gonna use this the excuse you're saving for buyback, but like even still, you're fucking sitting on like way too much gold. Should have imprisoned someone. Well, either one of them, it would have let the bounty get away. If you imprisoned the Shadow Fiend, or if you imprisoned the bounty, you would have. Lol. You've misclicked like eight times this game. Yeah. Uh, get good. <laughs> yeah, I got a coach and he told me to get good. It's definitely worth the money. <laughs> At this point, moon shards are a really good item. When you got a sheep stick instead of a shiva's lol. You have like no attack speed. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty good. It, of course, you have to like have the right games. This TP was funny. You TP'd like three feet. Do you have any questions on the game so far? Yeah, so any, any questions or anything? Do you want to go over another one? We could cut it here if you don't. I mean, you're on a four win spree. Play. Dude, fucking. See this shit? I play. I've played. This is the whole year. This is all the games that I've played this year, though. One was unranked. This one. I, I wish I didn't play this one so I could say this whole year I haven't lost a single game. Unranked doesn't matter to me. Um, but yeah, so 
What do you think are the main takeaways from this lesson? Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was the, those were the three main things I was going to say. Well, it's, there were a lot of times where you realized you needed something and you had the gold to buy it, but you just sat on the gold until, like, I guess you're trying to bring out something else to make the trip worth it. Yeah. But it's kind of like, if it's already going mid, then the courier's already out of the base and committed to going back to the base, and your mid is satisfied with their courier for like the next minute or two. So it's the perfect time to just bring it out to you, unless you get it killed on the way, which it's pretty hard now. Um, unless they have like a bounty hunter or some shit. But yeah, that's, that's a really good habit to get into just putting shit on the courier because it costs nothing it's like quick buy it takes like a few clicks and then um best case in or worst case scenario it doesn't like do anything um i guess the very worst case scenario would be the courier dies with it when it was going to someone else but i mean that's like one out of every th three four hundred games um but best case scenario you're like pushing and the courier goes to you anyways because somebody's bringing out like a four staff and you just have a ring of health and you can sustain the push now whereas if you needed the ring of health and you didn't put it on the courier it would be like two minutes before it comes out to you or the push not two minutes but the push would have been over by the time that you actually get it Do this shit once a day. I just do three minutes a day. I I can. I'm sold that for probably if you do it for two weeks, um, three minutes a day, you're gonna get more out of every minute spent doing this than you are from a coaching session. Um, the main thing is only doing it once a day because uh. Just how, like, your brain works uh, for muscle memory and skills and stuff. It's it's better to do um, 15 minutes of something spread over three days than it is to do 60 minutes of something one day, kind of. So, and this thing gets, this is super fucking boring. I tried to do it two, day, two times a day, and I did it for, like, a week. I did it for five days, and I was like, fuck this, and then I, like, stopped doing it, um... But I'm getting back into it, and I think I can commit to once a day. I think if you do it once a day for two weeks, you're going to get really good at last hitting, and then the results are going to kind of drop off, but it's still... Maybe from there, do it, like, once or twice a week or something. But it's... Being able to last it, especially as a core, is, like, mandatory. Like, I'm a fucking position four clockwork, and I'm going in here with a Shadow Fiend, and I'm trying to last hit with like zero damage so you have no excuse not to do it especially because you're getting coaching sessions um you definitely want to improve and this is like one of the best ways to do it especially if you have problems specifically the last hitting that you know is holding you back so yeah trying well the, the main thing is i say do it once a day it's only three minutes but realistically as long as you can commit to doing it a few times a week whatever your amount is even if that's like you do it every monday that's better than not doing it at all um but yeah i think the be the ideal would be doing it once a day all right so the spending your gold sooner uh when you're od uh making sure that you don't overcommit to your imprisonment you did that a lot and when you go in for your imprisonment, don't right click um, I forgot what the first one I said was already. What was that? Spending your gold earlier, uh, the, the OD imprisonment, um, putting shit on the fucking courier, 
Um, and there's one other one that we already went over. Uh, the, I guess there was the regen thing. And then itemization, but yeah. So yeah, no other questions or anything? Alright, cool. Uh -oh. Yeah, you, yeah, I appreciate you getting the lessons. Um, I'll have the...